with temperatures consistently in the 80s and 90s, this is the time to push Bermuda growth. My Bermuda is just growing very aggressively. I fertilize the lawn, I'm watching my irrigation. The most important thing is to keep up with the mowing. You gotta get out there and mow consistently and mow often. Because I'm keeping my height of cut on the lower side, I have to come out here and mow every two days. That's just the fact of life when you're real mowing. If you're using the rotary mower, you gotta get out there and mow often, at a minimum twice a week. This is the only way to keep up with the growth and to have that consistent green look. Me coming out here and mow this often every two days is getting to be a little too much. So last year I used a product called Tnex, which is a plant growth regulator. What that does is reduce the amount of times you have to come out there and mow. Last year I had good success using this, but on my first application I did notice I had some yellowing in spots. So because of that, this year I'm going to apply the Tnex and I'm going at half the recommended dose, at least just for my first application. So the recommended dose for my Bermuda is 0.25 ounces over a thousand square foot area, but I'm gonna cut that dosage in half. The only way to apply a product like this is with a calibrated sprayer. You cannot use this with a hose end sprayer. So I have a four gallon backpack sprayer and I'm calibrated to one gallon over a thousand square foot area. So that means I can cover 4,000 square foot at a time. So the recommended dose rate I'm going to use is 0.25 ounces over a thousand square foot. So that means my total dosage is one ounce. But because it's my first application, I'm going to cut that in half. So I'm going to mix 0.5 ounces of the Tnex and put it in the sprayer. Along with Tnex, I'm going to add a liquid fertilizer called Liquid Lawn. It has the macros and it has a good amount of micros in it, but more importantly, it has that iron. So adding this mixture is going to reduce the chances of having any type of severe yellowing on the turf. So the recommended rate of the liquid lawn is 0.5 ounces per gallon of water. So I'm going to add two ounces of the liquid lawn. It's really important to make sure the mixture is agitated really well and apply it on your turf. Once I apply, I'm going to wait about four hours. After about four hours, I'm going to go ahead and mow. Based on the recommended label, you can choose one of two options. You could either mow the lawn and then apply the product one hour after mowing, or you can apply the product and then mow the lawn four hours after application. So I chose the four hour method. So four hours later, I came out and mowed the lawn. Because I allowed three days between mowings, the grass clippings was a little bit on the higher side, so I chose to bag up the clippings. So 24 hours after application of Tnex, no severe yellowing. And here's another shot 48 hours after application of Tnex. Again, no severe yellowing. So far, so good. Because I went at the half recommended dose, I expect I'm gonna have to apply this product in about two weeks, but that's okay. I wanted to be really cautious and make sure the turf is able to tolerate the Tnex. With high temperatures, this is when you're gonna have an increase in bug activity. So if you haven't put down any type of bug treatments just yet, this is the time to do it. And you can tune to this video right here.